So hello friends. Welcome to Easy Data Fundamental. In this video, we will see top 10 network commands. So let's get started. Okay, so in this video, we will see top 10 network commands that will helpful to you for managing your computer system. We will see all commands step by step. These commands are very important, so don't skip this video. I request you to watch the full video for your better understanding. So first of all, start your command prompt or CMD. Number one. So first command is ping. The ping command is essential for testing network connectivity between your computer in a remote host or network. It is generally used for checking that our computer network is connected to particular network. So let's go on our command prompt and try this command. So type pinggoogle.com in your command prompt and you can see that some process are running. Actually, it is sending packet to google.com host and you can see that packet is also returned. So you can say that now your connection is successfully done. If in case your connection is fail, then you can get the some changes in packet loss. Packet loss indicates that your connection is not done. You can use ping for different target host. Here our target host is google.com. I hope you understood this command. Let's go to next command. Number two. Second command is netstat. Netstat command displays the connections active on the computer and the ports the computer is listening to. It provides a snapshot of the current network activity on your system. So let's go to command prompt and try this command. So type netstat in command prompt and press enter. You will see that some processes are running. Actually, it is sensitive information, so I hide this. But you can definitely see this information of your computer system. The command displays the four parameters. Protocol, local address, foreign address, and state. The protocol column shows the type of connection, and the local address shows the IP address, and the port number of the connection local machine. The protocol column also indicates the foreign address, specifies the IP address and port number of the connection in the host server, and the state shows whether the connection is established or not. Okay, I hope you understood this command also. So let's go to next command. Number three. So guys, third command is IP config. The IP config command in Windows is used to display the IP configuration settings of your computer's network interfaces. It provides different network information that we will see in CMD. But before that, I would tell you that this all command that we are seeing it is applicable for Windows. These commands are not working in Linux environment. So please take a note about that. Okay, I hope you will take a note about that. So let's see IP config command in CMD. So type IP config in CMD and press enter. You will see some information about network. It shows various network details such as IP addresses, subnet masks, default gateways, and more. This all details are related to your computer system. This is important command to find out all your network details. So keep exploring this command in your CMD and see the result. I hope you understood this command also. So let's see next command. Number four. Fourth command is hostname. The hostname command is used to display the host name of the computer or device in a network. It is one of the simplest command. So let's try this command in CMD. Type hostname in CMD and press enter. And you will see that hostname of computer is displayed. This command is also applicable for Linux operating system. For checking hostname, you can also go through the control panel to system option. It will also show the hostname of your device. So explore this command also. Let's see the next command. Number five. So fifth command is system info. Sometimes what happened, we want to find all details of our system very quickly. 
rather than find out system information manually through the searching in system. With the help of system info command, you can directly get the, all the information about your system quickly. It is generally used to display detailed information about a computer's operating system and configuration. So let's try this command in CMD. Type system info and press enter. You can see some information is extracting from system. Now you can see it provides different information of system, like host name, OS name, version, processor details, time zone, and so on. This command is a great tool for checking system details, especially when troubleshooting or performing system audits. So explore this command also. Now, before going to number six, if you are new on my YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest video notifications. Number six. So guys, six command is get Mac. The get Mac command in Windows is used to retrieve the Mac address or physical address of your network adapters. The Mac address is a unique identifier for each network interface on your computer. So let's try this command. Type get Mac and press enter. You can see it provides separate Mac address of system. This command is useful for network configuration, troubleshooting, and identifying network devices. And I would recommend you that don't share the, your system MAC address to anyone, as it can be used to track or identify your device on a network. With the help of your MAC address, anyone can attack on your network, and they can perform any malicious activity to your system. So don't share your MAC address to anyone. So guys, I hope till now you understood all these six commands. And I assume that you have a no doubt. So type understood in comment section so that I will get message that you understood all these six commands without any doubt. So let's go to next command. Number seven. Our seventh command is task list. The task list command is used to display a list of all the running processes on your system. So let's try this command in CMD. So type task list and press enter. You can see it display all the processes that are running in background of your system. It provides important information like the process name, process ID, session name, and memory usage. This command is helpful for monitoring system performance and troubleshooting issues. In conclusion, we can say that the task list command is a powerful tool for managing and monitoring running processes. So explore this command also. Let's go to next command. Number eight. Eighth command is ARP. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. The ARP command is used to access the mapping structure of IP addresses to the MAC address. These mappings allow devices on a local network to communicate with each other by linking IP addresses to MAC addresses. It provides us with a better understanding of the transmission of packets in the network channel. So let's try this command. Type ARP minus A and press enter. And you can see some processes are running. It provides IP addresses to MAC address mapping that you can see in your output. I assume that you are executing these commands simultaneously with me. So this command also helps devices efficiently to locate each other and communicate without repeatedly broadcasting requests. In essence, the ARP command supports network troubleshooting, security, and optimization by controlling how devices find each other within the network. So I hope you understood this command. Let's go to the next command. Number nine, ninth command is tracer. The tracer command is a network diagnostic tool used to trace the path that packets take from your computer to a specified destination, such as a website or another network device. It provides valuable insights into the route data takes across a network and where delays or issues might occur. So let's try this command and get the insights. So type tracer www.instagram.com 
and you can see that it is tracing the route to our destination. And you can see that it provides the parameters like hop number, round trip time, and particular host. Actually, Tracert is applicable for Windows OS. If you want to perform same task in Linux or Mac OS, then you have a command traceroute. It is a powerful tool for diagnosing network issues, tracing the route packets take across a network, and identifying potential points of failure or delay. It's commonly used in network troubleshooting and can help pinpoint where connectivity problems are occurring. So I hope you understood this command also. So let's go to our last command. Number 10. So guys, our final command is nslookup. nslookup, name server lookup, command is a network utility that allows you to query DNS servers to find the IP address associated with a domain name or vice versa. It's commonly used for troubleshooting DNS issues and verifying DNS configurations. So let's try this command. Type nslookup google.com. This command queries the DNS server and returns the IP address associated with google.com. The non-authoritative answer indicates that the response was obtained from a cache and not directly from the domain's authoritative DNS server. nslookup can be run from the command line on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux systems. So these are the, some basic information about the nslookup command. I hope you understood. These command also. So guys, these are the top 10 network commands that can be essential for diagnosing connectivity issues, resolving domain names, and managing network configurations. They provide valuable insights into network paths, active connections, and address mappings, facilitating effective network administration and troubleshooting. Actually, there are another network commands are also there. But these are the top 10 commands that you should know. So see you in next video. Before that, if you like my video then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.